Y'all, Russ here, our beer TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're in the South Dakota capital. Pierre, South Dakota. We're heading out of here. I'm going to go find that campground. We're going to spend the night here. Let's cross the big river, Missouri River. It's called uh, Fort Pierre. And the campground name was Riverview, I believe. We'll find it. Actually, there's some cool historic buildings over here, and uh, see what else we can find. We kind of have somewhat blue sky. Smoke is rolling in bad from all the fires out west. Wasn't that state capitol building just as cool as it could be? I was extremely impressed with that. All that white marble in there and all that, that was really something. Alright, this looks like Motel Row here. Got a bunch of little shops. I guess this would be considered what main the main drag through here. Oh goodness, look at all that hay in that trailer. Wow. That's a load and a half on that thing. Well, cattle and horses and ranches all over South Dakota. It's huge. Going to be a hot one today, too. All right. River should be right up here. We're crossing the mighty Missouri River. Flows a long way through a lot of different states. Looks like they're doing some work on it too. Yeah, the temperature is supposed to be in the high 90s to 100s here. Just extremely unusual, above normal temperatures. Pretty almost all summer. I think it follows me. <laughs> yeah, some big cranes on those barges down there. Probably doing uh, work on the bridge. All right, we're almost up here to Fort Pierre. Way off in the distance, that hill, top of that knoll is where that campground is. Riverview RV Park and Campground, and what a view. I stayed there five years ago. Well, looks like we're entering. Yep, here it is, Fort Pierre. It's supposed to be a historic downtown district. We'll find that, do a drive through before we head up to the RV park. Old train depot there. A lot of this stuff they turned into museums. See where that ice cream cone sign is? That's where we turn to go up to the RV park. But I believe right up here to the left is that little historic downtown district. Let's do this. Let's do a quick drive through and then we'll go up to the park. Yeah, this whole area in here, this is where French settlers came in. Uh, fur trappers and traders because it's along the Missouri River Lewis and Clark I'm sure <laughs> them two guys sure got around good for a canoe and some horses oh look at the old buildings wow this must be it here the river straight ahead Missouri River can you imagine back in the day uh, to go back in time for a day, huh? Looks like a couple of them are little shops. Not too many cars down here. Okay, well, this looks like the old town, historic town. Let me get turned around here.
there's the mighty Missouri. How would you like to live in a house right here? Like right there. Okay, well, let's go out and find that campground. I need to take a break from driving. Been doing quite a bit of it. Yeah, it's amazing how these old buildings stand the test of time. Of course, you know, they've been restored, but still, it's a lot of its original structure. Pretty cool. Okay, see that ice cream cone sign there? Always remember that if you come here, and you will. Once Wait you see the view this place has up here. <laughs> I remember it from last time. It's pretty spectacular. And it's kind of weird coming up here. You zigzag through this residential area. and Way up top is the RV park. That building straight ahead, that's a rodeo Hall of Fame museum. I don't think it's open right now. Get a couple pictures of it. It's called Casey Tibbs Rodeo Center, South Dakota. They got these statues. I've seen pictures of this online. It's not open right now. It's got weird hours. I'll check another time when they're open, but definitely want to get pictures of these uh, statues here. Can you imagine the history? There he is, Casey Tibbs. Old time rodeo champion. Rodeos, ranches, farming, everything's huge. South Dakota. Pretty cool. I don't think I'd last on a tame horse, let alone a rock wild one like that. My goodness. I've been to a couple rodeos. They're extremely entertaining. What's this one? Johnny Smith Memorial Sculpture. Okay. Guess you gotta know all this stuff. Wow, look at that statue. Very fitting. There's another memorial across the road. We gotta stop and check that out too. Alright, moving on. Not sure what this one is. It's got flags around it. I don't remember it from last time, but we gotta stop. Plus, check out the view from up here. Up at the RV park, it's even better. You can look way down on the entire town up here. The capital and the mighty Missouri River. Here it is here. I don't know what it is, so let's stop check it out. Wow, look at this. Back in 1743, two Frenchmen claimed this land with a lead tablet. They buried it in the name of France, and it was found in 1913, right here. Huh. That's why it's called Pierre, huh? National Historic Landmark. Who knew, huh? Wow. Okay. Probably fur traders, or er, Lewis and Clark, them two guys. <laughs> In their canoe. What's this? Translation of the... Okay, this is what they buried. They made a replica of it. They actually found this here. 
to claim this land in the name of France. Huh. Pretty cool. What we got here? More about the explorers. I'll be darned. Never knew that one. Look at the smoke rolling in. And this is more about the same thing. I'll have to read that later. I'm going to look that up online. Huh. Alright, let's go find that RV park. Seventeen forty three. I can't even wrap my head around that one. What it would look like here then. All right, we're climbing. Should be right up top of this hill. Last time I was here, I had that old gray motorhome called Spirit. That rebuild I did. That was a clear back in 2015. Quite a while ago. And it should be right up here. Yep. Kind of at the end of the town here. Here it is. Riverview. They were working on this place too the last time I was here. Really expanding it. I stayed up here on the top side, but when I called earlier, the lady said drive down to the bottom section. Supposed to have a much better view, but look at this place. This is an RV park, full hookups. And here's going to be your view from up here. Look at this. <laughs> Too bad it's smoky. Wow, look at all the sights. They're full. pretty good they're probably seasonal might want to check their website looks like they planted a little trees here well let's do a loop around the park and then uh, I'll get checked in yeah they got a lot of rigs here Oh man, look at that view right off the edge. Little benches there you can sit on. There's a four wheeler. I bet four wheeling's all over the place here. More benches. Looks like a little barbecue area. Fire pit. Yeah, they've fixed it fixed this up lot more than since I was here. A lot of this was un still under construction when I was here last time. Looks like they got basketball courts. There's a dog area, a grassy dog area for the puppies. A little place for kids. Pretty nice. And that big clubhouse up here wasn't there either cool all right let me get checked in and we'll check her out well I got a premium site with a view wait till you see the view <laughs> Riverview RV Park it was like $35, $36, something like that. Check it out right there. <laughs> Love it. The owner lady kind of remembered me. She remembered the, uh, my old dog, Scooby, for sure. Everyone remembers her. But wait till you see this view. Yay. Actually, that big fifth wheel there belongs to the owners, too. They're nice people. Van's all happy. Look at that. It's not 
moving. We need a break from the road for a day or so. End up a little picnic table. And right down there, there's the state capitol. It's kind of hard to make out. What a view. They named it well, Riverview, overlooking the Missouri. Perfect. If it wasn't for the smoke, but look at it rolling in, that's off to the west. It's really rolling in now. But they got quite a few sites here. It's got to be, what, at least 40 of them. Or more. Plus the ones up top. Look how little the van looks in between all the bigger rigs. <laughs> like a little baby down there. Huh? <laughs> baby with a view. Van's doing good this trip. What an adventure. We've been all over the country so far this year, 2021. And the fire smoke. Should be an interesting evening as the sun sets. Overlooking the Missouri State Capitol of South Dakota. If you get a chance, you got to stay here if you're ever in this part of the world. I'd highly recommend reservations. They're pretty full. Kind of hard to tell, but you can see the Capitol Dome. Right out over there. There's the downtown area we just drove to. You know, Pierre's not that big. I don't know what the population is, maybe 20,000, 30? But over there is where the capital is and all the town stores. And straight down below us, that's Fort Pierre on this side of the river. Pretty cool. Should have brought my fishing pole, huh? Well, watch the traffic go over the bridge, relax a little, journey continues, talk soon. <laughs>